Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. Epson has launched the latest variant of their brand new P8570 platform. And this version is the one I'm most excited about. This one is called the P8570DL and it features 1.6 liter bulk bags of ink that snap into the printer. This printer is targeted at high volume print environments where every penny counts and where print speeds and turnaround times are critical. This video is going to count the pennies, we're gonna crunch the numbers, and we're gonna analyze the break-even point on a new P8570DL versus the other option that's available and versus the printers you may already own today. Today, we're going to look at three different customer situations and provide an analysis of the number of dollars the P8570DL is going to provide in ink savings. Here are the three customer scenarios we'll look at. First, a customer who needs to buy a new poster printer and is comparing a new P8570DL bulk ink versus a P8570D standard printer. Two, a customer who currently has a P10,000 or P20,000 nine color printer and is considering whether it's worth replacing those printers with, a, with P8570DLs. And finally, three, a customer who currently has P7570 or P9570 12 color printers and is considering whether it's worth replacing those with P8570DLs. If you find yourself in one of these three scenarios or something similar, then this video will help you break down how much you can expect to save on ink and how long it will take to break even on a new printer investment. I hope to provide you with the data that you need to make the best choice for your business. So let's start with scenario one. You know that you need to buy a new printer. You've looked at the options, you've worked with your sales rep on sample prints, and you've found that the six color P8570 provides the print quality and speed that you need. At this point, you need to decide whether you want to buy the standard P8570D model that uses 700 milliliter cartridges, or whether you want to upgrade to the P8570DL and its 1.6 liter bulk ink system. So let's run the numbers. The P8570DL with bulk inks is going to have a price of $8,945 before any rebates or promotions. Compare that to the standard P8570D that cost $5,745 before rebates. This is a $3,200 premium that you'll pay for the Bulk Inc. P8570DL. So how long does it take to recoup that $3,200 delta between the P8570D and the P8570DL with Bulk Inks? Well, the price of a 700 milliliter cartridge for the P8570D is $265. That's 37 0.8 cents per milliliter of ink. On the P8570DL, a 1.6 liter bag of ink will cost $480, or 30 cents per milliliter of ink. So the P8570DL will save you 7.8 cents per milliliter of ink printed. But what does that mean? Well, in our ink usage video, we found that the P8570 uses 0.81 milliliters of ink per square foot. This was across four photographic images that have 100% ink coverage. I'm gonna spare you the math, but at a usage of 0.81 milliliters per square foot, you would need to print almost 50,000 square feet to break even on the additional $3,200 expense to buy the P8570DL. That sounds like a lot, but consider that a roll of 44 inch by 175 foot Epson poster paper is 641 square feet. That's only 78 rolls of paper before you break even and begin to see the additional 7.8 cents of savings on every milliliter you buy after that. Assuming full coverage of ink, you will save $40 on ink on every roll of paper that you print from roll 79 until roll 7079 and beyond. So that's scenario one, where you are in the market for a new printer. What about scenario two, where you already have a 44 inch Epson P10,000 printer but you could be convinced to upgrade if the ink savings justified it. Let's run the numbers on that scenario. In this case, we need to justify the entire $8,945 purchase price of the P8570DL, since you already have a working printer. The Epson P10,000 has inks that can be purchased in four packs at a price per milliliter of 31 cents. 
On the surface, that's only one penny more per milliliter versus the Epson P8570DL, which has a 30 cents per milliliter cost. But we have to look at the actual milliliters of ink used. Remember that we did a video testing the P8570 ink usage versus the P10,000 and P20,000, and we found that the P8570D used 42% less ink versus the 10 color P10,000. If you haven't watched that video, please go check it out as the print quality results were so similar and the ink usage savings were staggering. So let's do the math. The P10,000 used an average of 1.39 milliliters per square foot in our testing of full coverage photo prints. At 31 cents per milliliter, you're using 43 cents of ink on every square foot printed on the P10,000. Compare that to the P8570DL which used an average of 0.81 milliliters per square foot on the same photo prints. At 30 cents per milliliter, you'd be using 24 cents of ink on every square foot printed with the P8570DL. That is a difference of 19 cents saved on every square foot that you stop printing on the P10,000 and start printing on the P8570DL. It's a lot, almost 45% savings. That means that in order to pay back the $8,945 purchase price of the P8570DL when you already have a P10,000, you would need to run 47,000 square feet or 74 rolls of Epson poster paper. On the 75th roll and every roll after that, you'll be saving, wait for it, $121 per printed roll, assuming full ink coverage. That's crazy. Let's round it down to $100 if you aren't doing full coverage. How many rolls of paper do you print every month on your P10,000? Multiply that by $100, and that is the ink savings you can expect by moving to the P8570DL. Let's do one last scenario. In this case, you already have 44-inch Epson P9570 printers. The printers are only a year or two old and they're working great, but for the right ink savings, you might consider moving to the Epson P8570DL. Let's run the numbers on that scenario. Again, in this case, we need to justify the entire purchase price of the P8570DL, since you already have a working printer and you don't have to buy any new printers. The Epson P9570 uses 700 milliliter ink cartridges at a price of 37 cents per milliliter. That's seven cents more per milliliter versus the P8570DL, which has the 30 cents per milliliter cost. In our ink usage video, our test showed that the P8570 uses 39% less ink than the P9570 without sacrificing much, if any, print quality for everyday poster and photo prints. If you haven't watched that video, again, you should go watch it so that you can see how similar the print results were while the P8570D used so much less ink. So let's do the math one more time. The P9570 used an average of 1.33 milliliters per square foot in our testing of full coverage photo prints. At 37 cents per milliliter, you're using 49 cents of ink on each square foot with the P9570. Compare that to the P8570DL, which used an average of 0.81 milliliters per square foot on the same photo prints. At 30 cents per milliliter, you'd be using 24 cents of ink on every square foot printed on the P8570DL. That is a difference of 25 cents saved on every square foot that you stop printing on your P9570s and start printing on your P8570DLs. That is more than 50% savings. That means that in order to pay back the $8,945 purchase price of a P8570DL, when you already have a P9570, you would need to run 35,000 square feet or 56 rolls of Epson poster paper. On the 57th roll, and every roll after that, you'll be saving $160 in ink on every printed roll, assuming full ink coverage. That is just a crazy amount of savings on every roll that you print. Everyone's printing situation is a little different. This video is an attempt to put some hard numbers to a few common scenarios that we think customers will find themselves in. Your situation probably varies just a little bit. We wanna do the same exercise with you and we wanna customize all the data to fit your exact costs, run rates, and needs. We think that the P8570DL is the right choice for just about anyone that is running high production posters and photos, but we wanna do the extra legwork to make sure that you're convinced of that as well. 
We'll print your sample files, we'll put a stopwatch on the print times, we'll measure the ink usage, and we'll crunch the numbers. Whatever it takes to help you decide if the P8570DL is the right printer for your business. If you have more questions about the P8570DL, please don't hesitate to contact our sales team at itsupplies.com. We've been selling Epson inkjet printers for nearly 25 years, and we can help you decide which one is best for you. If you found this video helpful, you can like the video, but more than anything else, you could start buying your inks from itsupplies.com. This is the kind of video I love putting together, and if you, if you appreciate content like this, please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified of our next video. Thanks, and have a great day.